Hi guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing a New Year's Oracle reading for you all for Aries. Happy New Year everybody. Hope everybody has a great New Year. I hope you all are doing good out there today. I am doing great. Give me just a minute, okay? Sometimes these take me a minute to find the cards I want. This one right here. All right, you guys, let's see what we got. Ear chakras. I'm gonna flip them all over and then I'll go back and read them, okay? Past life issue. Power animal. Turn on your heart light. Have patience. Spend some quality time together. Look how pretty that is. Ear chakras. Notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. Past life issue. This situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from your past experiences. Power animal. Your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. Have patience. Love is patient and kind, always. Spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. So I feel like... Give me just a second, okay? I feel like some of you guys might be asking or praying or um, meditating on certain situations in your life that you need to have answers for. If that's the case, when I get this ear chakra, I feel like that whenever you may have a dream, whenever you might have a just a quick thought of something, or something just comes to you at the spur of the moment. These are the messages that you're asking for. These are the ideas or the creativity or the way you need to go sometimes. Sometimes we don't realize it. Sometimes it's a song that comes on the radio. And you're like, that's it right there. Right? So these, that's how it makes me feel. And that this is how it, it wants me to tell you. That when you do start getting ideas or thoughts or dreams or... Um, a song on the radio, whatever it may be. That's your angels actually giving you advice. Sending you the right way. Giving you the right information. So that's what you might need to go with if that's what you're looking for is a certain answer or a certain idea or a certain way to go. And then when I get this past life issue, this situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from your past experiences. Some people believe in past lives and some people don't. But sometimes you have something strong on your mind or something that you might be t terrified of, for instance, and you don't understand why. Why am I so terrified of snakes or water or heights or this or that or whatever it is? Sometimes it's something that's happened to you in your past life. 
and sometimes it becomes an issue and you still don't understand why and maybe that's why so this card wants me to say to ask your angels to help you either get through it release it learn from it heal from it remember it or let it go and then we have the power animal some people believe in the power animals and some people don't once again your animal spirit guide is a guardian to, to you and is helping you with this situation. There's a lot of uh, websites out there that you can actually figure out which uh, animal is your power animal. They might ask you your date of birth and things like that. You can actually see what your power animal is. And then whenever you see it, you realize that it might be helping you in some way. It could be a bird of some sort. It could be a, a dog, a cat, an animal, you know, different animals. And this card's telling me that your animal spirit guide is helping you with your situation. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experience love. So is this um, coming from this other stuff up here? Are you guys having a um, romance right at this moment? Are you having difficulties in your relationship? Are you beginning a new relationship? So this can go in a lot of different ways. Especially with this spend time, spend some quality time together. It's imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with. Listening and talking to each other. So if you do have a new romantic relationship in your life, even if it's been one in your life for 25, 30 years, you can't just say, eh, they're just, they're my husband or they're my wife, you know. You have to keep that bond between you. Sometimes these are your parents, sometimes these are your kids, sometimes these are your family or your friends or your siblings. Sometimes we don't talk enough to our family or to our kids or um, even in our relationships. After we've been in them for a while, you just kind of um, don't think that you have to communicate anymore. And, and that's not true. So it's always important that you spend quality time with the people that you love. The people that are important to you. And you always have to be patient, you all. Have patience. Love is patient and kind, always. That's a beautiful little card, isn't it? So I feel like for some of you, you might be going through something right now. Whether the situation is regarding your relationship, whether you've been in a relationship for quite some time and you just don't feel very close and you just might need a little extra bonding in your life, or whether this is with your kids, with your parents, with your siblings, with your relatives, or even friends. Sometimes we just need to open up, talk to them, bond with them again. And that's how I feel for some of you all. Almost like that you guys are um, falling away from someone that's important to you and you need to get it back. And then when I get this past life issue up here, I really do feel like if you guys believe in this, like I said, sometimes we have an issue in our life that we just don't understand. Where did this come from? I've never, you know, been afraid of uh, heights before or why am I afraid of heights? I mean, did something happen in my past that, you know, something? Why am I afraid of guns? Why am I afraid of this, that, whatever it may be? I mean, everybody needs to be afraid of guns. I should, shouldn't say it like that. You know what I'm saying, though. But it's just one of those things that sometimes we have an issue and we just don't understand it. And that could be why. Could have had something happen in your past that you don't even understand or realize. But you might need to learn from it and move on from it. And you always need to have patience, okay? Sometimes that's hard for all of us to have patience. But that's the best thing for a lot of us a lot of times. And if you're interested of regarding your power animal... Your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. If you'll look it up on the internet and figure out which power animal you, you have, 
you can be able to find that out. You can need to Google it, look it up, put in your birth date, I think, and they'll tell you. And then when you see that animal, you'll be able to realize what it means. Realize that something might be happening if you see that um, animal or that bird or that whatever it is. Something, someone or something might be trying to tell you something. And just like with this ear chakra, notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. When you have a dream, something comes to you. That's what that is talking about. If you're sitting on the computer or you're sitting there listening to something or a song comes on, maybe it's got a message for you. A lot of times there's different messages coming in different ways, and that's what you need to realize. I'm going to go over these all again. But before I do, you guys are strong. You guys are intelligent. And if there is someone in your romantic life that you need to um, bond with again, not even necessarily your romantic life, just in general, a, a good relationship that you miss, whether it be a friendship, a relative, a sibling, a parent, a kid, or a romance, you might need to bond again. Because it's very important. And always have patience, okay? Ear chakras. Notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real, real answers to your prayers. Always remember that, you all. Something just pops in your head, that could be it. Something that you dream about, that could be it. Past life issue. This situation has a basis in one of the previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from your past experiences. So there may be something that um, you're dealing with that you don't understand, and that might be why. Power animal. Your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. Once again, if you don't know what your power animal is, you can look it up online. And then if you ever see that animal, it might be um, something trying to tell you something. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experience love. So if you are feeling uh, alone, if you're feeling like you might need to bond, like this one says, you might need to open up your mind and your heart and remember the times when you were in love when you experience love. Sometimes we forget. Have patience. Love is patient and kind, always. You guys know that. Sometimes we need to be a little extra patient sometimes. Spend, sit, well, Mary. Spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. So if there's anyone that you need to bond again with, Pick up the phone. Go out to dinner. Invite them over. Whatever you need to do. If it's your husband or wife that you've been together with for quite some time, maybe it's time you guys take a little vacation. Maybe it's time you guys go out to eat. Go out to, you know, spend some time together. Bond again if you need to. I feel like that for some of you, you're looking for an idea or information to come to you and you're wondering why some of these things are happening to you. You're wanting information, you're praying for it, you're asking for it. But if you'll just open up your mind and your heart, you'll get it. And you always have to have patience. And if there's anyone that you miss in your life, you might need to have that bonding experience again. All right, Aries, this is a good reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed this today. This is your New Year's New Year's Oracle reading for Aries. I hope everybody has a happy New Year, and I hope everybody comes back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.